The Bee's Knees. This is the ultimate store cupboard cocktail with just three easy to find ingredients. It's thought to have originated about Prohibition times, although there are a few theories running around. It does make sense though that the original ratio, which was equal parts, was probably to cover up inadequate gin. So the original recipe was equal parts, but now that gin doesn't need to be covered up, I prefer to make it as a variation on a normal sour. So the gin being the star of the show and then the honey adding just more warmth and complexity as a sweetener. If rum is more your thing, then try substituting the gin for a white rum and that makes it a honeysuckle or a dark rum to make a honey bee. Now the easiest way to work with honey is to make a honey water. Um, and you do that by adding one part honey to one part hot water and just dissolving it. Um, I usually also sit the honey jar in hot water for a couple of minutes before trying to measure it out. And the honey water is then just much easier to handle and pour out. Otherwise, just add two teaspoons directly to the shaker tins, but make sure you stir and dissolve the honey in the other ingredients before you start to shake. Otherwise, the cold ice will just cause it to clump up and it won't integrate. So as always, we're gonna get our lemon twist prepped first. Just cut away from yourself on the lemon. Just do a nice thick strip and then what I do is I go back and cut off any of the white pith as much as you can because it's quite bitter. And then you can just give it a trim up so it's nice and tidy. You obviously don't have to do this. Then into your shaker tin, we're gonna add 50 mils of Plymouth. Plymouth is really similar to your classic London dry with lots of juniper and citrus, but also just a little bit softer. We're gonna go 20 mils of honey water. You can have a little bit of play around with this depending on what you have in your pantry. Um, so I had a few fun honeys like fennel and soft set prickly box. And those obviously will taste quite different. So for instance, if you're using a bit more of a savory gin, maybe something like a fennel, if you're using something quite floral, then like an orange blossom honey could work as well. But also just your standard honey will be great too. Squeeze some lemon. So you're gonna have 20 mils of your freshly squeezed lemon juice. Fill your shaker tin with as much ice as you can possibly fit in there. Pop the tins together. Make sure there's a nice flat line on this side and then shake as hard as you can. Delicious. Now I know this is not technically a coupe glass, but I've been quite enjoying drinking out of these little brandy balloons at home. Give it a double strain into your glass. Squeeze the lemon twist over so that you get all the nice citrus oils. You can give it a little rub around the rim if you like as well. Give it a little curl and pop the twist in your drink. The bee's knees. So now you know. Let's give it a taste. get such a lovely lemon hit, especially with um, with all those oils being expelled over there. So it just is really refreshing from the second you stick your nose in it. Uh, obviously I love gin as well, but it's also, it's not necessarily a gin lover's cocktail because the honey does come through quite strongly and you get that really kind of lovely warming sweetness. Uh, it's quite a fun one as well, I think, because as much as it's citrusy and bright, um, so kind of a good summer drink, the honey also makes it probably fairly, you know, drinkable in winter time as well because there's something quite comforting about it. It's almost a little bit lem sippy, but in a good way. Like, <laughs> it really is the bee's knees. <laughs> <laughs>